hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while i do apologize um i had just a really busy december and i had all good intention of doing so many different videos of things that were happening in december but it was just it was quite manic so i didn't get the opportunity so i'm back um it was an absolutely amazing christmas and new year happy new year to everyone by the way i know it's a little bit late but um it's still a new year isn't it <laughs> and yeah I, it was a wonderful time it was just full of family um love fun laughs i had a wonderful break from work it was three weeks off and I had some relaxation, relaxation, relaxing days, um, and yeah, it was just wonderful, it was just wonderful. So I've been back to work this week, and I don't work Friday, so I'm here. I finally sort of thought, right, I'm going to sit down and do a video. I am terrible for yes, I'm going to do one, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and it doesn't happen. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little life update of what's been happening um, with me since the beginning of December. Um, yeah, it's been a little bit crazy. So I mentioned in one of my previous videos that um, I've been going through the menopause and it's just, it's awful. Like I was going through perimenopause for a good number of years, um, but yeah i'm in kind of full swing of it all now so i have been to see my gp and i decided to go down the hrt route so i'm currently on the hrt patches which um i've just finished my second box so a box lasts a month and i can't really see or I don't feel hugely different yet and I know I've probably got to give it a bit longer. The only thing I have noticed is my skin has slightly improved. Now I don't know if that's coincidental from HRT or it's um, just different products I've been trying and using on my skin. Um, so but if it's the HRT, great. I'm happy with that because, yeah, I think that's one of the things that's really got me down is my skin has been so awful for years now, um, hormonal acne and just open pores and it's just so hard. I, I was at one point having putting foundation on and it literally was just sliding off my face. It was so awful. Um, I've done quite a bit of research into uh, skincare products that is good for, um, you know, hormonal skin and what's best to use, what's not to use. I'm going slightly, <laughs> I'll go into something else in a minute, I'm going slightly towards natural products and I'm trying to use products that don't contain parabens or... Um, which is really difficult because I've got a lot of beauty products that I need to get through um, before I go fully into that. But when I do try and buy, when <laughs> well I try and do this, when I buy something new now, I try and make sure it hasn't got parabens in. It's very difficult, it really is. Um, because there are products out there, beauty products that are makeup that you want and you either you don't know. But usually, if a company haven't got parabens in their products they'll advertise that fact but um you just don't know do you really with some so that is my plan for the future is to make sure that i uh, use better products um and yeah something else that's happened is i have become pescatarian slash vegetarian um i don't eat meat anymore at all um and i i say pescatarian because i have occasional fish literally possibly a couple of times a month i still like my fish um but i am looking to stop eating fish as well at some point 
but yeah I've stopped eating meat now for a good few months so I don't know if I've mentioned that before that's the menopause that does that you just can't remember <laughs> um, beginning of December I went and had my eyebrows re microbladed and also I had um, my first session on my hair which um, is going lighter on the ends, it's balayage. So first session is done. Um, I have to do it slowly in, in levels and work it up to being lighter because if they do it like wham, it'll go yellowy. So it's best to do it in sessions. So um, I've got my next uh, hair appointment booked in for March. Um, so it'll be a bit more lighter then. But I was so pleased with it, it's so lovely. Uh, yeah. What else have I got to tell you? Oh, what else has happened? Obviously Christmas happened and it was wonderful. Um, I was so hoping to do a video of me sat in front of the, tr the Christmas tree. We had a real tree. It was beautiful. Um, but unfortunately, it just didn't happen for one reason or another. I've just been so busy. So yeah, I've become a vegetarian. I'm on HRT. I've had my hair done and my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> what else has happened? I think huge has happened in my life um, that's different. Um, I wanted, while I'm here, to show you a couple of new products that I've had. Um, my husband, bless him, he brought me a jumper for Christmas and it was lovely, but it was just, it was it was too long on me, I'll put it that way. I'm, I'm very short, so it was a jumper dress, but yeah, it was down to like past my knees. It's not a good look. So, uh, he was fine with me returning it and I treated myself to, I, I was torn actually between this eyeshadow palette or the Urban Decay Heat palette. I really couldn't decide. Um, however, I do have three, I think it's three Urban Decay palettes. Yeah, three Urban Decay palettes. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to go for this one. And you know, I'm so glad I did. It is amazing. And it's the Too Faced um, Chocolate Bonbon. I absolutely love it. Oh, and the amazing thing about it, oh, just look at it. I'm going to try it without showing the mirror. Look at that, but it smells of chocolate. What more could a girl want? Oh, I feel like I want to eat it. <laughs> but those colours are absolutely beautiful, don't you think? I'm so chuffed with it. They are so pigmented and they just... They go on so well. I'm so happy. I absolutely love it. Um, I really want some more of their palettes now, the Too Faced ones. I think it's just, the packaging is so pretty. And the eyeshadows, I'm sorry Urban Decay, but these are better. I love my Urban Decay palettes, but I love this more. Look the box, look. It's like a bar of chocolate. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolate. Anyway, um, <laughs> I also from Too Faced, now I've never had a product from Too Faced before, so I need a, a drink of my tea. Um, never had a product from uh, Too Faced before, and then I ended up I'm sorry about the jump in the video but my battery went and I needed to go out and now I'm back it's dark so the lighting isn't fantastic but I'll carry on where I left off um so I was talking about Too Faced I've got the palette now which I love um and I've also um bought the in shadow insurance which is a primer for the eyes and it's bloody brilliant. It's the best eye primer I've ever tried. Um, you can see it there. Yeah, it's 
really good, recommend that. Um, also, treated myself to a Stila liquid glitter eyeshadow. Isn't it just fabulous? My beautiful Santa hat is so chunky and it's made by a lady called Lauren Ashton Designs. Um, uh, she's got a website and Instagram page, you can find her on there. Um, she also sells through Not On The High Street, um, so you can check her out through there as well. Um, she makes blankets, scarves, uh, Santa hats, um, yeah, and if you do want a Santa hat, I'd order one way before Christmas because she is incredibly busy and yeah it was touch and go I didn't order mine until the end of November and I got it Christmas Eve thankfully um but I didn't mind because if it hadn't come I'd have still worn it in Jan in July <laughs> sat in the garden in my Santa hat um yeah all the Christmas things have gone away apart from my hat I'm keeping it out for just a little bit longer because it's just so so nice <laughs> anyway i forgot to mention something else i bought makeup wise recently and and that's the benefit california this blusher is just amazing um it's really strong peachy color it actually actually looks a bit orangey there but it's peachy but it smells of summer oh if you're at a benefit counter, go and check this out because it is just incredible. I just got the little one to try it. Um, it's quite handy. Um, yeah, I love it. Love it. It just smells of summer. Oh, it's just lovely. Lush. Um, have I got anything else to share with you? We'll tell you. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't... Oh, yeah, I wanted to share with you this. Um air freshener I got from Sainsbury's I actually brought the reed diffuser um, for my bathroom and I just love this smell so much and I'll tell you where I found it um, I went to stay in a house it was an Airbnb down in Southampton when I went and got my hair done and my eyebrows got my hair trapped. and in the bathroom of the Airbnb they had a reed diffuser um, you know when you walk, walk into a bathroom you think, oh that smells nice, I like that smell. And a bit of investigation, I realised it was the Reed diffuser. And um, and it was from Sainsbury's. So I took a photo of it <laughs> and I went and got one because I absolutely love the smell. And I also got the, um, the room spray as well. You can see that. So it's, it's called Black Amber and patchouli and yeah go go and give that a smell it is so lush I really like it um yeah I can't even describe it it's just just go and smell it <laughs> you just have to <laughs> um yeah so I've had a, uh, a few problems today with my camera not the camera's fault my fault firstly the battery went because I started recording and I didn't check the uh, battery power and obviously it was used over Christmas so it was low and I haven't charged it da, 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 da. and um, and then just not long ago it was telling me my card was full so in the middle of the Santa hat you'd have noticed it sort of had a bit of a cut yeah that wasn't my excellent editing skills that was my card was full and I had to go and delete lots of things so yeah I need to invest in another battery another card, SD card, and also a ring light, because the lighting is just dire. Um, especially if I'm doing a video of a night time, I haven't got a light. Um, but daytime as well, so I'm like living in, in England, as you know, the light is not the best at all times. <laughs> so at the moment I've got this house lamp <laughs> shining on me, which is an ideal. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye!